What is going on, everybody? So, today we're gonna be working on the Miata a little bit. Uh, I've done a little bit since you guys watched the last video, and I'll, I'll turn you around and show you what's going on. Oh, we got the valve cover completely bolted down. Timing has been set, and we now have a water pump installed, and our oil pan is installed. And right now I'm working on the uh, the crank bolt. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to put the crank pulley on and uh, get everything else kind of tidied up and ready to go. And by the end of this video, hopefully we start the car, attempt to start the car, maybe put a battery in it. Um, that is the plan. Whether that happens or not, I don't know yet. So we're going to be putting the crank pulley on and we're going to do the water pump. I do have a radiator for the car now, brand new radiator from AutoZone. So it's got the one year warranty. It'll be replaced if anything happens. And I think that's probably about it. So uh, let's get started. So we're putting the, uh, the crank pulley on right now. What we're gonna do is line that up with that piece right there. And now that is, well, set on there. And now we gotta bolt it on. And then after that, we can do the water pump, put a new oil filter on. And after that, we should be able to crank it, to be honest. Of course, we're not gonna run it like this, but we could crank it over and, and test, is what I'm saying. We could test and see if it even cranks. Because right now, that's my biggest concern. I, I bought this car for, what, fucking $500? So, let's find out. Just the water pump, really. If, $500 Miata can run. If it can run, it's worth it. And uh, I talked to myself in the eye there. And we got a new track car for 500 bucks plus, uh, I'll say $200 in parts and, uh, and hardware for it because it didn't have everything. And honestly, that's not bad. Like, that's really not that bad when you think about it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get that on and uh, I'll get right back with you. So this is what I got right now. We got the water pump on, we got our crank accessory pulley on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put an oil filter on there so we don't miss that. And the old one that came out of it is about uh, probably th two, three years old. And I'm not even gonna risk running it. I do have a quart of automatic transmission fluid in there to help loop things up just because it's been sitting so long. And then a quart of 540. And the 540 is just what I run in Miatas. On the couple that I have had, I have, on the couple Miatas that I have had, that is what I ran. Uh, diesel oil. For whatever reason, Miatas really like it, and it's uh, it's a little bit more viscous and protects your uh, engine components a little bit more. And being that these don't have variable valve timing, you don't have to worry as much about putting in a, uh, a heavier oil. So this is where we're at right now. We can at least turn it over, see if it spins. I mean, I know it spins because I tightened up the crank pulley, but you get what I'm saying. We could see if it tries to turn over. Even if it did, it would only turn over. I don't have a mass airflow sensor hooked up, so that's, that's it. It wouldn't try and crank. Sweet. Wow, my hat is really uneven. So we left off. Uh, I guess I was talking about probably trying to start the car. And we're still gonna do that in this video. I got a battery. I got an alternator that works for the Miata. And um, got a radiator and everything. So what we're doing right now, I gotta pick up some rubber nipples to uh, block off a couple lines that we are not using. And then we're gonna try and fire her up. So. Man, that little ray of sun is pretty cool. But we're gonna run over to AutoZone real quick, get 
those uh, rubber nipples and there's one more thing. Yeah, the bolt for the alternator while I'm thinking about it. I actually need to grab. We're getting a nut. I have the bolt. So we're gonna grab that bolt real quick. I'll head over there. I'll get back with you right after I'm done. The hat is uneven again. Oh, and so are my glasses. But we just got back from the store. That's what we got going on. Just got the alternator on there and we got the uh, the belt, the accessory belt or serpentine belt, that V drive. So that is now on there. We're about to put the battery in. I'm gonna tighten everything up here and uh, we're gonna try and turn her over. And as long as everything turns over and hopefully by the end of the day, we're starting it. So we're gonna go grab the battery right now. It's actually in that car. It's my friend's uh, Maxima, but what we're going to do is get the battery out of there and then hopefully she uh, turns over we've got oil pressure there's gas in there my coil packs are hooked up what do i need to do with alex right my check engine light should come on but it's not Still just gonna try and start it, but it's not gonna do anything. 